Good evening. Good evening and welcome to Prince of Peace. It's a privilege to have you all here. Hope you made it in without too much uh, getting soaked in the rain, uh, but so good to have you all here. You might know that we're um, currently looking forward at a new project at our school. If you brought one of these with you, there is a spot for them outside there. If you'd like more information, we're happy to share that with you. Tonight we focus on the people who are moving on to the next stage, our preschoolers, our kindergartners, and our eighth graders. So it's our great privilege to welcome you here tonight to our pre-K and kindergarten and eighth grade graduation at Prince of Peace Lutheran School. You should have received a bulletin on the way in. If you didn't, there's our, they are uh, more in the back and everything there is printed out for you. With that, we now welcome our graduates. Once again, we welcome you all here to our service. Um, just for your information, um, I want to let you know too that we are recording it. You could capture your own little moments, but the whole thing is being recorded for you as well. As we began our Christian lives of faith as children of God, as we began this school year, so also we gather here for this graduation service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all and through all, and in all. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us pray. O Lord, with your gracious favor, Direct us in all we do, and aid us with your continual help that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally, by your mercy, receive the gift of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, all family and friends, faculty and staff, all the people gathered here today, thank you for coming, and especially dear graduates from our preschool and our kindergarten and our grade eight. You're done. <laughs> You're done. 
made it through, right? The year is done and you did it. So congratulations. We give thanks to God that you're done. It's very good. But, oh, wait, you're not done because you come back tomorrow. <laughs> Chapel and some kickball and some games, lots of fun. So you're done, but mm, you're not done. And then after that, then you'll be done. Summer break, right? Fun. But what happens after summer break? You're not done. More school. That's good. That's very good. In fact, we could keep saying that for the rest of your lives, right? Every time to get to a spot that says, you're done. Thank you, Lord. You look back at the things that are done and you say thank you. But you can also look ahead and say, I'm not done. There's more. The next step is coming. More school. So even at the end of school, though, raise your hand and say, are you going to be done learning after school is done? Are you just going to say, I'm done learning? Maybe you think so, but no, you're not done. You're going to keep learning. Ask the rest of these folks here. You keep learning, don't you? So you're not done being a student even when you graduate elementary school and move on to high school. You're not done. But it's more than just saying, let's be lifelong students. Keep learning. Don't be done learning. That's not just what this is about, is it? It's also about not being done being a disciple. That's what this school is for. Yes, we teach about math, science, reading, writing, art. Did you learn some of those skills? Grade eights, right? Say yes. But it's not just about putting information in little tiny brain computers, not just about uploading data, right? This is not just about what you know or what you can do or what you learned. This is about who you are. Can we read together, please, from Matthew 28, 19 to 20? And when you see bold print, please join me in saying those words together nice and loud. Graduates and everyone, if you'd like, top of the page. Jesus, just before he ascended into heaven, said, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Don't be done being disciples, following Jesus. Do you follow Jesus by walking after him like his first disciples and live where he lived and ate where he ate and sleep where he slept? No, now we follow Jesus by the things he says here. He says, this is how disciples are made. You were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And for some of you, you spent 10 years in this school. Some of you started in pre-K and kindergarten and then eight years of elementary school. Some of you finished 10 months of this past year you're done. But you're not done being a disciple of Jesus. Your baptism still works, doesn't it? Because Jesus came at your baptism and said, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, you are mine. That's who you are. Pretty cool, isn't it? Eighth graders, as you head out, as you go somewhere new, this is our prayer for you. That as you keep figuring out who you are and where you fit in God's world, you come back to this basic, basic truth and this basic, basic promise where Jesus looks at you and says, you are mine. That part you're done with, right? That part you're done. You know who you are in Christ because he washed you and cleansed you and made you his. So as you say, no, I'm not done figuring out who I am and what life is like and where I fit in this world, don't stop. Don't stop being his disciple. Keep following Jesus. 
That's really the best stories of life, isn't it? You watch your favorite movie or read your favorite book. It's not just where the characters are doing, what will I do or where will I go or who do I have to fight or what problem do I face, but who am I? And God in heaven tells us. He says, you are mine. God the Father made this whole world and he made you and made you unique with your gifts and talents. And God the Son came down from heaven and redeemed you, bought you, paid for you, cleansed you with his blood, died on the cross for you and rose again and said, you are mine, you are forgiven. And God the Holy Spirit came to live inside you and gave you faith. And he says, now you're my temple and I'm going to use you for my glory and I'm going to change you and transform you as a disciple following Jesus. You're not done. God is going to keep doing those blessings to you. God is going to keep doing what he does creating you, recreating you, transforming you, blessing you, forgiving you, and making you more and more His. All that you are comes from Him. Well, not all that you are, because there's stuff that we have in us that doesn't come from God. You know what that stuff is. Jesus says, out of the heart comes immorality and wickedness and sin and greed and yuck, and we wish it didn't, but it does, and out it comes. That's all you. That's not from Jesus, is it? Your sin. You're not done with that. Eighth graders, you graduate, and I'd love to tell you, you're done being sinners. But just stop and ask the people around you, am I done being a sinner? And they'll tell you, no, you're not. And then people can tell me, say, no, Pastor Betcher, you're not done being a sinner either. But that's not who you are. That might be what we are, sinful people, always struggling, always with stuff coming from us that isn't right and we don't get to perfection. But that's not who we are. God says who we are. He says you are cleansed, you are forgiven, you are my holy dear child bought by the blood of Jesus. That is who you are. A disciple, a follower of Jesus for this life and for the next. That's who you are. So are you done? You're not done. Keep being that. Keep being a disciple of Jesus as you go from preschool to the next spot. And you go from kindergarten to grade one. And you go from grade eight up to high school. You're not done being Jesus' disciple. Can you say something with me? Because Jesus is with you always, we'll talk about that in a second, you guys say, I follow Jesus. Can you say that with me? I follow Jesus. No matter how old you are or how far you get in life or what the next thing is you graduate from, you never are done saying that. I follow Jesus and he is not done blessing you. That's the last word we said all together in bold with a loud voice. Jesus said, surely I'm with you always. He is not done being with you. You figure out what's next. Not always sure what the next year would be like. But Jesus says, during your summer break, into your next school year, into high school, he says, I am with you. So congratulations, we thank God, you're done. But you're not done. Keep being Jesus' disciple. Keep living under the blessing of your dear God, the Father who made you, the Son who died for you and rose again, the Holy Spirit who lives in you and makes you his, you're not done being his, always and forever. Amen. This is the hymn that you chose, eighth graders. So just as Jesus said, you are mine, you are saying back to him, yes, take me, I'm yours. Take my life and let it be these four verses.
Hello, friends. I don't know about you, but I feel like this shouldn't be tonight. We just had the snow stop like three weeks ago. So it's, I, I don't know, this has been the fastest school year. I don't know if it's because I'm almost an empty nester or what, but it has flown so fast this year. It's been a great year. We've learned a lot. We've done a lot. A lot of our stuff in, in preschool is same routine, schedule, sun up, sun down, sun up, sun down, sun up, sun down, and then it's the weekend, and then sun up, sun down. And maybe that's the same for you for a lot of your life, but then it's all mundane, and you do it over and over and over, and you don't recognize any change, and then you do, and you see the kids and you look at something or they say something or they say, oh, I can do it. And you're just like, best day ever. These little preschools come, preschoolers come in my room and they are very smart kiddos, but I, I get a good opportunity to, to teach them a lot of stuff. And then the night like tonight comes and I have to say, here's your piece of paper it's your pass out of my room, and it is heartbreaking for me. <laughs> um, it's been a really, really great year, and I get to spend a lot of time with these kiddos, and it is nothing but an honor and joy, and I am very grateful for you guys for making the sacrifice. I know you live so many miles away, and gas isn't cheap. It's getting more expensive, too. What's going on? It's, um, the gas the time, the tuition, the they need this, they need that, running, juggling, talk about sun up, sun down. I can't even imagine. I only live a half a mile away. So the amount of time you spend on the road, upon all the sacrifices of your time, thank you. Thank you for bringing your children here at preschool. A lot of people say preschool, they, they're good. They don't, know, they don't need any of that. Thank you. Thank you for sending them to me and entrusting me with your beautiful, beautiful children it has been a fantastic year, and it is time, my friends. Are you ready to go to kindergarten? Yeah. Are you ready to go to kindergarten? Yeah. Louder. Come on. <laughs> One of them did give me a hug and said, I don't really want to go. Like, this is a real thing, but it is time. It's time. Here are our preschool graduates. Are you ready? Listen for your name. Ronald Young. Benjamin Tong. Elizabeth Springer. Everett Schultz. Dean Razul. Navea Medina Rivers Jewett Naomi Gebregorgis Naomi. Elana Dennis. I do have to say that Elana's grandmother took a 30 hour plane trip to be here from India tonight. 
Talk about money in the gas tank. Jackson Clay. Josiah Ajahn. And that is my beautiful preschool class. <laughs> now it's my turn. I was getting a little emotional back there. Um, I once joked to a parent that teaching kindergarten is like training puppies. <laughs> They are playful, curious, and very loud. <laughs> but they are also loving, sweet, and they trust you with all their hearts. And there's just so much joy <laughs> to watch them learn, play, grow, love, and praise God together as brothers and sisters of Christ. Kinders, your journey has just begun, and there's so much to look forward to in the future. Mrs. Fennel and I are very proud of the little human you have became today. Are you ready? <laughs> Avonlea Bass. Faith Dealey. <laughs> Ava Delgado. Shaina Delaver. <laughs> Siweva Gaiman. Victoria Jensen. <laughs> McKenna Lakavich. <laughs> Elias Magana. Ellie Morrison. <laughs> Sarah Wynn. Vivian Wynn. Harrison Rohr. Rebecca Sanchez. Okay. 
Benjamin Schultz. Boston Walkington. James Weber. <laughs> Celine Wayman. And that's the kindergarten class of 2023. All right, preschool and kindergarten, you can come up front for your song. Hello everyone. So, throughout the full decade I've enrolled at this school, I've had many friends and teachers that come and go. I've met new people and created new, everlasting, unbreakable bonds that I can never forget. This is the story of a wonderful experience of childhood. This is my story. So, I first arrived at this school for my second year of preschool. I had previously gone to a small daycare type school uh, at a big house in my neighborhood. Now, I can't really tell you much about my early experience because I don't remember much. But I do know that I made plenty of friends right from the start because of the great environment. Now, right off the bat, I would like to thank Moses Strong and Lucas Craig because they've been with me ever since the first time I walked into this door. And throughout our struggling friendships, we still found a way to be brothers in the end. All of my friends throughout my years here have been such a blessing and encouragement. 
The teachers here at Prince of Peace are loving and kind. They will also do their best to make sure we're always using our God-given talents and abilities to God's glory and our good. Thanks to all of my wonderful teachers, I'm able to stand here, proud to be moving on to the next part of my life. Every single teacher that I've been in the classroom with has played a major role in giving me the best education available. They didn't tell me to say that, I promise. <laughs> Overall, my experience at Prince of Peace has been fulfilling and has led me to a wonderful relationship with God that I can't possibly thank the pastors and teachers for. Every, sign, every time I walk into this chapel on Wednesday morning, I know that my relationship with God is about to grow deeper. With that, I'd like to end this off by thanking every single teacher that's helped me with this journey and has helped me feel prepared for the next mountain I'm going to climb, high school. Thank you, Ms. Carla, for tolerating my crazy preschool self, Mrs. Sell for always being there and comforting me when I need it the most, Ms. Dietrich for helping me in times when I was troublesome, and Mr. Vilsky for leading me to further maturity, Mr. Sell for always being funny and keeping the entire class laughing, Mr. Lang for being funny and serious at the same time. Um, Ms. And uh, Mrs. Saloff for stepping in when we needed your help the most, when, we weren't, when others weren't available. And Mr. and Mrs. Paulson for being there when they needed you the most. And Pastor Bader, Pastor Mitchell, Pastor Peel, Pastor Weber, and Pastor Betcher for teaching us more about the Word of God. Thank you all for being so wonderful and kind throughout the decade. God bless you all. Hello everyone. Today marks the end of a chapter in our lives, but also marks the beginning of a new one. I never really expected this day to come so soon, but now that, it's, now that I'm here, it's not as easy as I expected. Thinking about leaving your classmates, friends, teachers, and everyone who has been a part of this journey may sound difficult. Although starting a new chapter in your life might seem nerve wracking, it also helps you look back and cherish all the people God has put in our lives here at Prince of Peace that have helped us in more ways we can think of. Today we also celebrate not our, only our academic accomplishments, but our lifelong bonds and the memories that we have made, that we have created, along with the experiences that have shaped us to be the people we are today. Over the past few years, I never thought about when it would be our time to say goodbye. Being around all my classmates almost every day of the week has made me think of them like family. I wanted to thank all my teachers and pastors who have taught me to grow in many different ways and are always there for us no matter what. I am thankful for my time spent here and all of the memories we've made together as fellow Christians. We've all made new friends and discovered new passions, but we must continue to work hard with determination. Prince of Peace has prepared us for our future in many ways by teaching us how to value our education, how to be leaders, to take initiative, and to never give up. In the future, we will face setbacks, but we have to remember that these experiments will only make us stronger. Through our journey at Prince of Peace, we have also been challenged, pushed out of our comfort zone, forced to think critically, and learned how to work together. So as we move forward, we can reflect on the past and learn from our mistakes. As we progress, I ask God to help us not forget all the lessons we've learned along with our all our teachers who have prepared us for this moment. All of you work very hard to educate and inspire us, and you deserve recognition for the hard work you put in. Thank you for your patience, kindness, and dedication to our education. Your lessons have not only taught us about the world around us, but have also helped us to grow as individuals through Christ. I want you to know that your efforts have not gone on unnoticed, so thank you for teaching us and making us the best we can be. I am proud of all my classmates who have pushed through all these years and have made a big impact on my life at Prince of Peace. I wish the best of luck to all the eighth grade alumni. May our futures be as bright as the memories we've made together. Thank you.
For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Mike Paulson, and I have the privilege of serving here at Prince of Peace as the school principal. And then also I get to teach the seventh and eighth graders during the day as well. So I get kind of both sides of the coin. Uh, I get to manage all the things that are going well with our school, and I get to deal with the troublemakers in seventh and eighth grade every single day. So I kind of get what I would consider the best of both worlds because I don't have to walk and back and forth to my office quite as much because I can handle all the issues that are going on with the troubled students right away in the classroom. <laughs> when I look at the number of students who just came through here as graduates of preschool and kindergarten, uh, it reminded me of a comment that was made a couple of weeks ago by our seventh and eighth grade students in class. We were just talking about this possible building that we're going to do and what this could possibly look like and all the students that could possibly be there. And our eighth graders said, that is so cool. There is going to be an eighth grade class that graduates with 18 in it. 18 students in one class when they graduate. That's unbelievable. That's so cool. They're going to be such good friends. And while I hope that to be true 10 years from now, nine years from now, I also want to take a moment for you five to say how cool it is that there's just five. You guys have stuck it out. When classmates have gone off to other schools or they've moved away, you guys have made it all the way to the finish line. And while I joked over and over this month that you probably weren't going to make it to the finish line, <laughs> somehow you're all sitting here about to graduate. And listening to our two class speakers describe not only the memories that were made here, but hopefully the things that they can take with them into the future, it brings me a lot of pride and it also brings me a lot of excitement to see what God has in store for each one of these five moving forward. So with that, if you guys could stand up and we will get you your diplomas. Ajani Bali. Congratulations. David Bogus. <laughs> Viviana Mata. Congratulations. Soren Moffat. <laughs> Moses Truong. We will continue uh, with our junior choir singing Christ Be My Leader. So junior choir, you can come on up.
Let us come before our Father in heaven to ask his blessing and to offer our thanks. Father, you have brought us to the end of this school year by your grace. Lead us now to acknowledge gratefully the blessings you have given us in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, Father, for Christian teachers, parents, and peers who have served for our good. May their efforts bear fruit in lives that continue to grow in faith, hope, and love for Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy. As we part for a time or go on to new stages of life, keep us safe in your protecting care. Refresh us through leisure and rest. Renew in us the desire to grow in all useful knowledge and in the wisdom that comes from you. Lord, in your mercy. God of time and eternity, as time flows by, we are faced with changes and new horizons but our times are in your hands. You call us to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet unwalked through trials unknown. Especially guard our children and keep them close to you. Tonight we pray especially for those who won't be here every day to hear your word, Ajani, David, Viviana, Soren, and Moses. Give them faith to go forth with good courage, knowing that your hand is leading and your love supporting us all the days of our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose name we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The blessing of our gracious, loving God for us all and upon us all, but especially for you, graduates of our preschool and our kindergarten and our eighth grade. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. A closing prayer.
I'm not, I'm not sure there's a better way to end it than what just happened up there. I'm going to ruin it with what I say now. But uh, just seeing all of you guys tearing up, crying, chokes me up. I don't usually get choked up. And then watching my eighth graders come down from the top and they're all bawling <laughs> really got me choked up. I want to say thank you to each one of you for being a part of Prince of Peace. It means so much to us to have this chapel this full coming to worship and praise God for all the blessings that he has showered on us in another year of school. Uh, it's such a, a huge part of our ministry here to have a school. And uh, something that we don't take for granted is all the extra help that goes on around here. Uh, it takes an army to deal with just your own kids, right? And now think about multiplying that by 100. There's a lot of people who pour in a lot of time and a lot of energy. And yes, there are called workers, there are pastors and teachers here who do that, but there are so many more. And so this evening, we want to take a moment just to recognize three in particular. And there are so many more, obviously, but these three go above and beyond. Uh, they are here in the morning, at night, all throughout the day. They drink all of my coffee. <laughs> they are here constantly. And I want them to know that what they do does not go unnoticed. They are constantly doing things around here. And I want the three of them to come on up. So that is Jeff Bifus, Brad Gollin, and Tom Smith. Now, I will also say there are times that I think that they organize their tools more often than they get to my to-do list, <laughs> but I'm still working on that with them. And I'm hoping that these gloves give a little bit of a hint every time you put them on. Let's go find out what Mike needs done first. <laughs> so this is or for Jeff, broke. or what's broke, but that wouldn't be for me. Nice. This is Tom Thank and Brad. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, there's cupcakes out there and I think some lemonade possibly or water. And then uh, if you are in kindergarten or preschool, once your kids get their pictures up front or if you want to get extra pictures somewhere else, please make sure that you get gowns and hats back to either Mrs. Peel or to Miss Lung. Thank you so much. Uh, we have kickball tournament tomorrow. You're all invited in the morning. And then also come and enjoy the school carnival tomorrow night from 5 to 8. Thank you very much. <laughs>